Boat farming is the fastest way to make money in BTD6, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. Now, boats really take off once you have around $60,000 and are pretty slow before that. Luckily, this lines up pretty well with round 40, which is super nice for boss events. So, in the early game, farm like you normally would with either three banks, a bunch of marketplaces, or a miniopolis. The choice is yours, but we'll make the transition to boats in the early 40s, right after popping the tier 1 boss. Here, we'll sell just about everything and place down two 102 villages as close to the water as we can. In their range, we'll get a trade empire, a 014 engineer, with his trap as far forward as possible and we'll spend the rest of our money on 003 merchantmen. Now every additional merchantman that we get makes us more and more money as the trade empire buff stacks and this is the reason why we will be spending all of our money on new 003 buccaneers for the next few rounds. One trick to get these guys even faster is to relocate your balloon trap near the end of the round so that it collects its trap even if it is only partially filled. This way, you can occasionally squeak in an extra merchantman upgrade before the round ends which will snowball into a ton of cash down the road. Our goal is to get 20 merchantmen up and running. Depending on the map, you may want to get more 102 villages, and I found that getting two more is the sweet spot. But after this, we'll upgrade a village that affects our balloon trap and several merchantmen to a 104 monkey city. This will make our balloon trap way more profitable and it'll be our biggest individual money maker. Next, we'll get 10 024 central markets as each of them adds 10% income to every buccaneer. Try to get as many of these guys inside the range of the monkey city as possible and the rest inside the range of other discount villages. Once again, you can use some balloon trap shenanigans to squeak in an extra upgrade or two, but this part is pretty simple. Once our central markets are down and our bucks are making a boatload of money every round, we will go and upgrade all the merchantmen inside the Monkey City's range to 004 favored trades. And the next choice is where we have an option. If you are on a map with more water, you can get down more merchantmen. Otherwise, just upgrade the remaining merchantmen to 004 favored trades. It is here where we will coast into round 60, and if we sell everything, you should be sitting at around 450 grand, which is enough to get an Apex Plasma Master for the tier 2 boss. Now after the round 60 boss, what you do is very map dependent. You'll want to fill the water back up with 004 bucks and a trade empire and buff them all with central markets, but then you have a decision. If you have more water, you can always fill it up with more flavored trades buccaneers, but if not, you'll want to work towards a giant monkeyopolis filled with banana research facilities as it can make the most money per space used of any tower. But that is the gist of boat farming. It really relies on a good start, which is why you should watch this video that shows the fastest way to farm from rounds 1 to 40 and the best ways to farm if you're on a map without water.